Hi friends, I'm Brian Garvey, CEO and founder of Vato7, and in today's V7 Tech School video, I'm gonna show you how easy it is to install your TX unit. These are the tools you'll need. That's right, no cutting wires and no tools needed. When I created Vato7, I had one thing in mind, giving writers the very best and giving you the ability to customize and increase your visibility. In today's video, we're going to go over the few easy steps it takes to install your TX unit. But first, why do you need a TX unit? You'll need a TX unit for each motorcycle that you want to connect your Vata 7 Smart LED gear to. A TX unit installs to any motorcycle, snowmobile, ATV, etc. with a brake light. It does not matter if your vehicle has Bluetooth. Your vehicle can be any make or model just as long as it has a brake light. Turn signals are optional. Here is the box we send you. Inside is an instruction manual in many languages as we sell Vata 7 Smart LED gear globally. Also inside, a TX unit and some PosiTap connectors. To begin, review the steps in your TX instruction manual. For today's example, we're going to be using the 2014 Harley-Davidson 48 Sportster. Compare the wiring diagram in the TX instruction manual for your bike to the wires located under your seat for your rear lighting system. It's a good idea to refer to your manufacturer's wiring diagram for your bike's make and model just for ease of mind. These PosiTap connectors are so easy and require no cutting wires or tools. Simply unscrew the large end cap, place your wire in the slot, and screw the body of the PosiTap connector back on. Then unscrew the small cap end. Feed the correct TX wire into the small part of the connector all the way through until the bare wire is touching the metal and screw back on the small end cap. That's it. The first wire I like to start with is the ground wire to the brake light. It's the easiest wire to find because it's the same color wire for the tail light, brake light, and left and right turn signals. Once you've located your bike's ground wire, go ahead and connect to the large end of the PosiTap connector as we just discussed. Now look at your TX instruction manual and TX unit for the wire colors and the various operations. You'll see the orange wire is the ground wire for the TX unit. Feed the orange wire into the small end of the PosiTap connector, making sure the bare wire is touching the metal of the connector and screw the small cap back on. The second wire I like to connect to the TX unit is the bike's positive power wire. This wire is attached to the tail slash brake light, and when reviewing your bike's overall electrical wiring diagram, the same color may be seen going to your headlight for reference. Connect the large part of a new unused PosiTap connector to this positive power wire. Checking the TX instruction manual again, you'll see the power wire is red. Feed the red bare wire of the TX unit into the smaller end of the PosiTap connector making sure the bare wire is touching the metal part of the connector and screw the small cap back on. The third wire I like to connect to the TX unit is the bike's brake signal wire. This is the last of the three wires seen connected to the tail slash brake light on your manufacturer's wire diagram. Connect the large part of a new unused PosiTap connector to the brake signal wire. Checking the TX instruction manual again, you'll see the brake wire color is blue. Feed the blue bare wire into the small end of the PosiTap connector, making sure the bare wire is touching the metal part of the connector and screw the small cap back on. Next, locate your right and left turn signal wires. Connect a new unused PosiTap connector to each wire. Checking the TX instruction manual again, you'll see the control wire color for the right turn signal is yellow and the left turn signal is green. Feed the yellow and green bare wire ends into the small end of the PosiTap connectors, making sure the bare wires are touching the metal part of their connectors and screw the small caps back on. That's it. Now it's time to test. First, be sure to turn your motorcycle, snowmobile, etc. on and make sure all your lighting works correctly. It should if you followed the above directions and no wires were cut. Next, turn your vehicle off. Turn your Vata 7 Smart LED gear on by pressing the on-off switch for two seconds. After your Vata 7 gear's lights are illuminated, press the same on-off switch continuously for seven seconds. You'll notice the switch logo will go brighter 
and the red tail lights will go off. This means you're in sync mode. Now you have 30 seconds to turn on your motorcycle and press the brake lever three or more times until you see your Vata 7 gears brake lights illuminate and mirror your motorcycle's brake light. Now try both turn signals. If you need help, just reach out to us at info at vata7.com. We're here to help and note, after you install your TX unit correctly, there's no reason to mess with it. Be sure that your TX unit is located in a safe and dry location under your seat. Some riders like to wrap the connections with electrical tape after making sure the connections are correct and secure to help keep them protected. It's that easy. Also, don't forget to check out our other V7 Tech School videos where we dive a little deeper into our technology and how you can elevate your visibility and your riding experience. Until next time, thank you so much. We appreciate you beyond measure and ride safe, friend.